about to show you something that is perfectly legal, but think about your own reaction when I tell you this was right outside the convention center where President Obama spoke today in Phoenix. This is a man who showed up with what we believe to be a semi-automatic rifle hanging off his shoulder. Uh, Arizona, among the states where you can carry a firearm in public. I'm uh, exercising my rights as an American in Arizona. Uh, well, I come from another state where open carry is legal, but no one does it, so the police don't really know about it, and they, they harass people, arrest people falsely, and I think that people need to get out and do it more so that they get kind of conditioned to it. And he was not alone. About a dozen others were also in the crowd, armed. Are they merely invoking their rights or part of, of what could be a really dangerous trend here? With me right now, conservative commentator and constitutional attorney Mark Smith, uh, former New York Police Department investigator Lou uh, Palumbo, who now heads his own security firm, and in Chicago, CNN political analyst Roland Martin with us as well tonight. Um, Mark, let me start with you on this. Nobody questioning anybody's Second Amendment rights here. I mean, this is about just basic rational thought, bringing a gun to an event where the president is speaking? Well, I think it is dopey, but the fact is he's legally allowed to do it, and people make political statements whenever they go to political events, and if he's making a political statement about the fact that he has the right to carry arms, so be it. Keep in mind, I'm sure people showed up with newspapers exercising their First Amendment rights, Come and on. keep in mind, President Obama, he wants to leave the beltway. He wants to leave New York City. He wants to go out there and meet real Americans. Well, real Americans carry guns, real Americans own guns for self-defense because, you know, real Americans don't have Secret Service officers surround them 24-7. So if he wants so to talk you're, you're to telling Americans... telling me that guy was carrying a gun to that rally for self-defense. I don't know why he was carrying the gun, but the point is Americans, when you leave the Beltway in Washington and New York City, carry guns. They own guns. If President Obama wants to talk to real Americans, he's going to have to talk to people that own guns. People walk around with semi-automatic semi -automatic. Look, I'm from Louisiana. I know a lot of people <laughs> with guns, but the, as far as I know, they don't walk around with semi-automatic automatic weapons. Well, of course they do, because every gun that people carry is semi-automatic, because automatic weapons are machine guns, and you're not really allowed to own those unless you especially qualify for a very special permit. The point is that if President Obama wants to sell his health care plan to ordinary Americans, he's going to have to sell his plan to people that like guns, whether or not the media elite in New York it's like it, and whether or not the political guns. elite it's like about, it is. Rolling, go That's ahead. Sorry, Mark, let Mark, you do Mark, this. Mark, 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 Mark. Cut this crap about the media elite, okay? I'm born and raised in Texas. This was a town hall meeting dealing with health care. All this guy wanted to do was get on television. I agree. That's exactly. And, no, 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 no. Mark, 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 one second. Mark, 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 one second. So enough with this stuff about real. He's not the only real, one either. To, to right, Roland's point, I mean, a lot of people have been doing this to make a point or whatever. But the bottom line is, their kids there. There are other people at this rally. The president is there. I mean, let me let Lou jump in here. Can't the Secret Service do something about yes, this? Yes, they can. There's a division in the Secret Service called Protection and Intelligence, and um, um, I'm certain right now they're taking a look at anybody that demonstrated this lack of discretion and insensitivity. And this transcends our, our legal right to carry a weapon. It's about our good judgment and good taste. You know, this president has a wife and he has children. And these in incidents impact these people as well as the president. And quite frankly, you know, if they're going to continue to act with this level of indiscretion, I will guarantee you that the proper adjustments are going to be made in the law enforcement community to make sure that these people are properly okay, surveilled. Oh, come on, come on. Good judgment? Yeah, I agree. It wasn't good judgment. But now you're going to go out there and pass laws to deal with good judgment. Well, if you're going to start passing laws about, about judgment, laws. you've got a very long no one, way to go. No one's this said man, about passing although, laws. It's not about passing laws. It's about, about passing asking laws. the Secret Look, Service to step in a little more aggressively. I mean, sure, this they did not the arrest him. A Democrat let's, or Republican let's cut to the chase. Let's cut to the chase. This man was not arrested. Arrested. Nobody was arrested, and those people that had guns were not arrested. They were acting peaceably. This they were was, acting you know, within the law. Instance, and the fact the that you don't like it, this right. proves my point. You let, don't like it, not Americans. It. Let me let Roland jump in. You know what, Mark? If you were giving a speech, and there were people who were showing up with guns, I doubt you would be standing there saying, yay, that's great. But here's the other thing. CNN.com had a story the other day of a man who was carrying three handguns who was uh, wheeled into a hospital for a head injury. They took the guns away from him. All of a sudden, they found he pulled another gun out. The officer had to shoot him, and they killed him in the hospital. So, you look, I get this whole notion of gun culture, but the reality is this is the president at a health care meeting. If you want to talk about the first, the second amendment, fine, have another forum. This, this was is not about a meeting. Health care. He, th these people were outside the meeting, Roland. These were not the, the people that were actually healthcare. in the meeting. They were outside the meeting. And last I knew, in Arizona and in most places in the United States, you can go to a meeting and exercise your constitutional rights. The United States Supreme Court says that you have the right to bear arms. 
You may not okay, like that, just, but that's let, just let the way the law is. It's called here. decency, if you're, if we're trying Yeah, but to you're have, not going to legislate but, but Mark, that. I mean, in all honesty, can, can we agree that the people showing up with guns, I would assume, are against health care No, reform? I don't think we can at all. I think that's not right at all. How do we know well, why he, they're well, there? Okay, the guy this is an said, assumption. He said he was it, there because he was against health care yeah, reform. He's well, carrying a rifle. He may be, but so what, what is the connection? are they helping their cause if they're trying to make a statement about health care reform, showing up with a gun? Well, I think that that's not even a fair assumption. How do we know why well, these said, people... Look at the blue dog Democrats. The that, blue dog Democrats, for example, I'm not are pro-guns. he said that, Mark. You know, Campbell, I'll, t- I'll This is I'll one guy out of... This is one guy, and we're talking on national TV about one guy. I'll tell you about guns and health care, Campbell. When you have 40-plus kids on the south side of Chicago who are killed every year because of guns, I tell you, it impacts health care. So you want to have a health care conversation, Mark? Yeah, let's, let's have, have one. But this is not a gun conversation. Let's talk about they should the gun- leave their let- guns at home. Let's talk about the guns that save lives. Let's talk about those guns that protect good people from bad people who want to do bad things. I let's think, talk about well, what happened right, at the Mark, Holocaust Museum. So guys, at all that. Everybody, let's talk about it. Everybody, cool it. We, we, I'm out of time, but I think where we want to end this conversation is that's a conversation you can have without bringing guns to, to a crowded place where people and children are walking around Absolutely. trying to have a civil dialogue. Okay, I'm with Roland on this. Thank you, though. Appreciate your time, Mark. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Lou, for coming in as well. Roland, as always.